And now, a pause for station identification. That's the sound of CKCU-FM. CKCU-FM is a nonprofit campus community station, and by that I mean that it serves both the campus community and the Ottawa Hall community at large, staffed largely by volunteers, and really a station that provides alternatives. There are a great number of advantages to being a campus community nonprofit station. It allows far greater freedom uh, in terms of the diversity of things you can do on the air, you can be much more creative and interesting, wild and crazy, uh, than you can be in uh, other types of radio, which tend to be much more restricted. Also, because of the nature of the station, we can have a wide variety of voices on the air, both musically and in terms of uh, spoken word programming. You can hear from all kinds of different people with all kinds of different ideas uh, that don't have access to mainstream broadcasting. The station has been around a lot longer than most people imagine, actually. It started out uh, back in 63, 64 as a, a small club on campus, grew into a closed circuit operation in the early 1970s into Carrier Current, and then on FM in 1975. It's grown phenomenally in the course of the last 10 years that we've been on FM, certainly, in terms both of the quality and diversity of programming, the number of people that we're reaching, and I think generally the quality of what's uh, on the air here at CKCU. The station relies virtually 100% on volunteers. Um, all of the on-air staff that you hear are people who are volunteering their time. And a number of these volunteers have been with us for a long period of time, and they've really formed the backbone of the station over the course of the years. Hi, Bill. Oh, hi, Pat. Hi, my name's Bill, and I've been an announcer here at CKCU uh, for five months now, and before that I was five months in the closed circuit training studio over here. By the time we get an on-air show, you're more relaxed and ready to do it. And when your first on-air show is an all-night show, so even that is a bit uh, re more relaxed. However, um, just recently I started a more of a prime time show on Saturday nights, so I tend to want to come in and get prepared so that I'm relaxed in the studio. Oh, there could be a, a lot of work involved in preparing for a music show. You'd have to consider uh, what the time slot you're doing is and maybe what um, type of people are listening and what they're, they'd be doing while they're listening to the radio. And then there's uh, thematic programming, which is part of our station uh, policy. We have to prepare thematic musical programming called Foreground. You could maybe look at what other announcers have played that day so you don't get too much repetition. While we play 20% Canadian music, in the on-air studio we have all the new releases, so we try and play uh, as many of them as possible. Then there's other scheduled things that we have to play, like promos for bands or upcoming events in town, and that's all on the log sheet. Some people prepare mm, up to four hours for a two-hour show, or some people just come in maybe an hour before an overnighter, which is a five-hour show, and uh, throw everything together. I try and play all requests depending on how much time I have. Sometimes you can work requests into uh, the kind of music you're playing, or sometimes you can get a request and it'll just throw you on a whole different tangent for the rest of the show. Hi, my name is Bill, coming on a little bit late tonight after uh, Gregging, but better late than never. Um, I'm going to be on until 8 o'clock when John Stamos comes in for New Revolutions. Until then, I've got lots of music for you to listen to, so do stay tuned. Three point one. 
one and living stereo. Yeah, scissors. sequence again and Dave Essig telling me it's time to get on out of here make room for Doug Torrance coming up in just a couple of moments with Walkabout CKCU's country music program gives me an opportunity to remind you to stay tuned to CKCU all through Saturday with uh, the groove after Walkabout and then it's reggae in the fields with Junior Smith all kinds of good music right up till midnight and into the wee hours of the morning here. 93.1 is uh, where to keep it welded. <laughs> The main uh, difference between uh, blues shows here on CKCU is you can uh, get into the art and the history of it like John Tackerberry does, or you can just, you know, enjoy it as dance music as me and Bill do. And uh, blues is like a Goya, you know. John Tackerberry knows the brush strokes, the history behind the painting, who the girl is, but me and Bill look at it and we just see a picture of a pretty girl with big. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think CKCU's jazz program is different than other radio stations. The artists that get played are the artists that you can play when you go into more depth, so that not only do you play a Louis Armstrong, but you play a Kid Ory, not only do you play a Charlie Parker, but you play a Bud Powell or a Tommy Potter, uh, not only do you play a Miles Davis or John Coltrane, but you also play Archie Shepp. It's just as important to listen to Ornette Coleman. In fact, you can't understand I think a lot of the music that uh, that is popular without listening to Ornette and Ornette Coleman, but Ornette Coleman is not uh, a populist musician, and uh, you're not going to hear Ornette Coleman on a commercial radio station. Casey UFM. Yes, that's right. This is Andy Clark. Yes, I produce Special Blend. That's right. So you can't come on Wednesday, but you can come the same time on Thursday. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thanks very much for calling. Right. Bye bye. Special Blend is three hours long. It runs from seven to ten every weekday morning. It requires a lot of work uh, to produce that much information programming on a consistent basis. Everyone in the Public Affairs Department contributes to it. It's produced by the Assistant Public Affairs Director. One of the advantages of being the Public Affairs Director is that you don't have to get up so early every morning. Bill Brown is the Public Affairs Director and he gets to come in after the show is finished and the smoke is settled. So, uh, that's it. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Here, and I just finished this take for the third hour. Okay. All right, I'm going to do an intro and extra right now. So you won't have to worry. Okay, does this tape uh, need any edits? No. Do you know who's doing news reading today? No, don't you? No, I guess I'll have to do it myself. Okay, stay pruned. That was some rye cooter there. We've got special blend coming up right after this. Is BBC tuned? We'll have our regular features of news, weather, sports, and the ride sport. Stay tuned now. The BBC World Service News brought to you by the new morning futons. Hey, Mr. Executive Hours, it's after 11 o'clock. It's a strain to come in, eh? Yeah. <laughs>
I paid my dues. You look pretty comfortable. Maybe we could string a hammock up for you up there. That'd be a lot more comfortable, I think. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people, when they think about the public affairs at CKCU, they think it's, it's mostly special blend because a lot of the volunteers do work on special blend. There's a lot more. I mean, there's, there's shows dealing with uh, the arts, with literature, with women's issues, with Canadian politics, international politics. There's a children's show. There's all sorts of, of different types of programs. And uh, I guess public affairs is distinguished from news in that uh, we're not as worried about the, the short little story at the top of the hour to keep people updated. We want to sort of talk uh, about the background uh, to what has happened. So things don't get stale on us. It's an advantage we have. And we don't worry about being scooped by other places because uh, the attitude we take is we, we, we try to take an issue instead of reporting that something happened, we'll try to talk about why it happened. So then on top of all that, we have uh, we have ethnic programming that we run during the weekend, uh, shows that are aimed at the Vietnamese community or the Chinese community or, or the Jewish community or the Polish community, things like that. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mordechai Berger, and for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to be your host on the Sunday Simcha, the Jewish program of Ottawa on station CKCU-FM. Tôi cũng nên nhắc lại rằng trong những năm 79, 80, bà Duo đã phát động chương trình 4000. Welcome to the Children's Half Hour. Be sure to join us in two weeks for another look at world affairs. For Latitudes, I'm Mark Neufeld. And I'm Peter McDonald. Good night. Good night. Latitudes is a live color CKCU production. Screaming Bamboo Send Off with the Adopted, August 9th at Club Zinc, is a CKCU FM co presentation. And stay tuned to CKCU-FM. This afternoon we'll be giving away a pair of tickets to win to see the show Screaming Bamboo and the Adopted at Club Zinc August 9th. Also, an interview with Brian from Screaming Bamboo will be coming up, so stay tuned. Radio Carlson, 93.1 of a kind. So how many dates are you going to be doing? Gee. I never counted them all. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all the major cities out west, mm -hmm. uh, plus Lethbridge. <laughs> okay, well maybe you could introduce the next track that we'll be hearing from your EP. Well, uh, apparently it's uh, World of Tomorrow, uh, which is a, a song that is actually about four years old now. Uh, World of Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of events does CKCU co-sponsor? Well, just about anything actually. We've done dance, art exhibits, even mostly music though. It's uh, a music-oriented station, although we're open to pretty well anything. CKCU gets a lot of publicity out of it. We also become associated with the group involved. We get guest lists. <laughs> That's always important. The groups involved get free advertising and promotion on air. The records tend to do very well uh, leading up to the show. They uh, often do very well on our charts. Obviously, they get a lot more profile than they would with just postering the street. We have a lot of listeners. of the unexpected, make a date with Shriekback Monday, October 7th at Barrymore's and break through the barriers of pop lethargy. Shriekback in concert is a presentation of Shake Records and CKCU FM. Whatever you do, keep dancing, keep tuned in to CKCU 93.1 FM. And if you drink, don't drive. The production department here at CKCU is uh, responsible for all pre-recorded material that includes interviews, script and clips, public affairs shows, as well as recorded music shows. Take for example this station ID. On this tape are all the components of the final product. This is one of the passages. That's one of the vocal tracks. 
So what did you do to the voice? That's the J button. It does a lot of strange things. Actually, in the final uh, product here, there's a, a lot of special effects added. Everything's going fine. No trouble. Just get it going. You're listening to CKCU's 10th year of being a very different radio station. The quality of the sound uh, has improved mainly because the system is wired properly now. Uh, a lot of renovations were required to complete the on-air board installation. We had planned on stripping the on-air studio completely right down to the uh, riser, putting in new carpeting. Um, we floated the on-air turntables so that you can't affect them by walking on the riser. Uh, we built a new counter for, to contain the on-air board. The thing that we weren't planning on was totally rebuilding the engineering racks. All the racks were stripped out and all the wiring rerouted. <laughs> Well, here we are at Camp Fortune uh, transmitter site for CKCU. Uh, we receive the signal on microwave receiver. From there, it goes to the exciter. From the exciter, it's fed to the main amplifiers and out through this, which is called a harmonic filter, through the coax to the antenna. Most people think the uh, heart of the station is at the studios down at the university, but we're up here t about 12 miles as the crow flies at Camp Fortune transmitter site, and this is where the station originates. This is where you've got to tune it in from on your radio. Trans FM. Who's who on Radio Carlton at 93.1 FM on your dial? bring you up to date on the inner workings of Ottawa's own community radio. Trans FM. An essential guide to our airwaves, available now at record stores, boutiques, and selected cinemas. Trans FM. CKCU is uh, financed uh, a number of different ways, actually, much different than, than your conventional um, FM radio station or conventional radio station. We get grants, uh, primarily from the Carleton University Students Association, which account for roughly a third of the budget. Uh, we also use limited sponsorship advertising to get about another third of the budget. Uh, that comes from businesses and is, in a sense, like commercials, only different. They're, are fairly strict limitations in terms of what we can say and how many we can have and so on and so forth. And our third source of funding, major source of funding, is the annual public funding drive, which also itself makes up about another third of the operating budget. Uh, we've done some of the most unusual things with the drive uh, from uh, people who have pioneered the art of uh, stripping on the radio uh, to get pledges, which was enormously popular, to climbing the Spark Street Mall Mount Everest style, which attracted a lot of attention. So I suppose the big question is, how do you keep it going? How do you keep it active? How do you keep it being a valuable and important part of what goes on? And that is through participation. One of the most important contributions that you can make to it is your dollars. So your continuing support, coupled with the energy, the interest, and the enthusiasm that we see around here every day, uh, gives us reason to be very optimistic about the future. Being at CKCU has been an incredible privilege, a chance to meet new people, hear a galaxy of new music, and taste everything that's ever grown on the underside of rocks. Well, CKCU's most valuable asset is uh, the idea behind the station that uh, we are trying to present different ideas and different music, and I think that's the belief that everybody has, that, that there is something different to present to the public. Hello, everybody. This is Levon Helm. I hope you're tuned to CKCU FM 93. And if you're not, I hope you're happy anyway. Playlists suck. Who wants to uh, sound like commercial radio? We're different for a reason. The Overnighter is a real grind. I did it for 11 months, and uh, it's made an old man out of me. Hi, this is Bim, and you're listening to CKCU FM 93.1 in stereo. I think the most valuable asset to CKCU is... I guess there's two things, the relationship with the audience and our numerous volunteers that replenish the station every year. I'm Chris of the Redskins, coming to you on CKCU, 93.1 meters stereo, the radio that walks it like it talks it. I think CKCU's most valuable asset is uh, 
flexibility. I feel that if our show was forced to have a playlist, it would regiment our creativity, which would be negative. This is Joe's Tomer from The Clash, and this is CKCU 93.1 FM, the best station in the nation. Everybody thinks the best music comes from somewhere else, but the best music doesn't come from somewhere else. Those people somewhere else are suffering the same goddamn thing that local artists are suffering here. So if you don't support local music, then there's not going to be any music. Hello, this is Richard Butler from the Psychedelic Furs, and you're listening to CKCUFM on 93.1. Stay with us. <laughs> 